Thank you all for coming. My name's David Mack. I'm an orthopedic surgeon here at North Cypress Hospital. And I think all of us are here to talk about knee pain tonight. Is that right? All right. The, uh, the other seminars uh, were earlier this week. So thank you all for coming out. It's a beautiful October night, so I appreciate your time. Um, I'll start with a brief outline. And, and first of all, to introduce myself, like I mentioned, I am an orthopedic surgeon. My practice is predominantly the treatment of knee and shoulder uh, problems. So whether that's sports injuries or arthritis or a combination of the two, that's what I do on a day in and day out basis. I am board certified by the American Board of Orthopedic Surgery and subspecialty certified in sports medicine. So um, just to give you a little background, I did my medical training for the most part here in Houston in the Texas Medical Center at Baylor College of Medicine. I had the opportunity to travel abroad for a period of time and did uh, additional training in both knee and shoulder surgery in Europe and also in Australia. And I've been in practice out here in Northwest Houston for approximately uh, 15 years now. So um, as a matter of uh, just a general outline of tonight's talk, and this will be about a 30 minute talk or so just to give you an idea of what's coming. Uh, we'll start with, the, with a discussion about the causes of knee pain uh, then we'll move on to the treatment options, and basically, at least in my mind, being a surgeon, there's two options. There's surgery or no surgery, so we'll go through those. Uh, I'll give you some con conclusions, and then I'll open the floor up to questions. And if you have general questions, I'd be happy to answer those. If you have specific questions about your own particular health needs, and you're not comfortable asking those in this uh, room in front of an audience, I'd be happy to stay around at the podium afterwards and answer your questions. So there are several types of arthritis. Everyone's heard the word arthritis. Uh, the most common type of arthritis by far is what's called osteoarthritis. That's the degenerative arthritis, the wear and tear arthritis. It's the arthritis that grandmom had. That's usually what causes about 70 or 80% of the arthritis that we deal with. There's also what's called post-traumatic arthrosis. If you've had a knee uh, operation or a knee injury in the past and have possibly had surgery or not have had surgery, and now your knee isn't behaving quite right, uh, that could be as a result of trauma, which is also a very common cause. And then there are various types of inflammatory arthritis. Uh, rheumatoid arthritis is the most common in that category, as well as lupus and several others. And finally, there's arthritis due to different crystalline diseases. Uh, gout and pseudogout are the most common of those. And so any one or all of these can cause knee pain, and they can also occur um, in combination, you can have several, if you're unlucky enough, you can develop several types of arthritis at the same time, and that can certainly make the problem more complicated and uh, lead to some treatment decisions. So we'll talk about osteoarthritis, uh, which is, as I mentioned, the most common type. Uh, this is just a cartoon picture of the knee, and the white part of this knee is supposed to represent cartilage, but in arthritis, the cartilage deteriorates and flakes off. And so if we were to do an arthroscopy of a knee and look inside and take a picture, it would look very similar to this cartoon picture. Rather than seeing smooth, white, glossy cartilage, we'd see different erosions and pits and so forth where the bone is, uh, is exposed. And people that come in to, to, to talk to me about their arthritic knee often describe the sensation of bone rubbing on bone. And that's just not a sensation. It's an actual uh, fact and reality that occurs in the later stages of arthritis. Uh, just another cartoon picture of normal versus abnormal knee surfaces. Normal knee cartilage, uh, when you look at it through a scope, is very smooth, very glistening very white in color, abnormal knee cartilage uh, is kind of tan or pinkish in color, very rough, very eroded, and uh, clearly abnormal. 